Alright, next up we have Zelda, The Want of Gamelon, 100% by Grumpmeister. Good luck! Thank you, and uh, it seems like we are live. Uh, before we start, I really want to thank everyone for the last minute donations uh, to make this happen. I was sweating, to be honest, because this was all I practiced. Uh, the 100% would have been fine, but I mean, it's awesome to get all, to see all the cutscenes. I'm joined here by uh, Nandi and Kumito. 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 You have never seen this game before, so... Yeah. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, enjoy the authentic experience of uh, people seeing the cutscenes for the first time. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, fueling their nightmares. Uh, okay, so the actual time I will start when I actually enter a level um, won't be after the cutscene. But because I'm starting a new game, there will be a cutscene first, so enjoy. Oh boy. Zelda, Duke Onklet is under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? <laughs> I will give the Triforce the courage to protect me. If you don't hear from me in a month, send Link. Ampa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the king will safely return. Enough. That's not the real My Triforce. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok! <laughs> A whole month gone, and still no word. I'm certain he's all right. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. <laughs> Link, he's go to Gamelon and find my father. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Dodongos. <laughs> Wake up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom. <laughs> so, they arrived. I'm still not sure if the ship wreck is there, but I'm like that. Okay, so uh, let's get some hype going and let's get started in five, Three, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, go! go. Yeah. Okay, so the first level is really straightforward. Uh, we're going to get a key. And we are just being assaulted by these warthogs, which don't really pose that much of a threat. You can just jump over them. Uh, this rhino is a Dodongo. Uh, Dodongos may be familiar to players of Zelda, but yeah. I'm actually doing it safe because, yeah, I'm, yeah that's why. <laughs> 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 Should have done it a bit safer. I've, I only had two hearts of life, so. Do we have time for a quick donation? Oh yeah, we do. We've got a 10 euro donation from Jelly Dots. I dabbed, so here's one euro. Or 10, since I want the music glitch from Mega Man 2, Craigasm. <laughs> On a side note, I've never seen these cutscenes and oh my. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> the first cutscene is incoming. The first in-game cutscene, that is. Help. Everyone ran when the Gleok came, but monsters know better than bothering me. Here's a shroud that scares the raps off Gibdo. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so, we now have a shroud. What's uh, with her eyes, dude? Yeah, she's twitching. Uh, we unlocked the Kogi Tower, but we're not going there. We're going to Scado because we need rubies. Rubies, not rubies. Um, basically, what happens in the Zelda uh, CDI games is that rubies have different values on rupees. Uh, basically, the red uh, rupees, uh, rupees, sorry, oh, I got wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the red rubies are only worth one, the green ones are worth five, and the blue ones are worth uh, ten. Uh, this game, compared to Face of Evil, is quite starved on uh, rubies, so we are trying to make the most out of it. So jumping is the fastest movement, Jump I think. Jumping is indeed fastest if you don't hit the ceiling. Because if you hit the ceiling, you slow down. 
Oh, 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 oh shoot, cutscene. Hey, of course I'm on your side, <laughs> but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. <laughs> okay, so he'll handle the rubies. Now, well, I want to get some rope. I bought too much. Sorry, Zelda. Not enough rubies. You'll have to wipe out a few more gorillas to get that. You. <laughs> Sad day. Uh, the reason I'm getting rope is because uh, we, I want to show off a cutscene that we normally wouldn't get to. And to get there, we actually need the rope. Normally, we just go into this room, try to get uh, the power sword, which is a bit annoying. And especially with one health, I'll likely not get it, but just for practice, I am going to. Jumps. Okay. Oh. You have uh, three continues per level, so. Pretty generous. Jump. And I missed again. Th this is one of the more time consuming jumps, basically. I normally have a pretty decent setup, like. I would have had it there. Like that. It's cool, I can finally say that Zelda is the main protagonist of this game. Yes. I Without getting tuck tape. Too much damage there. I wanted to move to the side a bit too fast, but uh, we exit the level where we uh, because we went through the. the uh, it's actually not bad. I mean, we're getting a few more rubies in this case. And just enter this room again. Uh, it's really close by, so not a big time loss. Good OST, though. I'm not having a good time with this jump at the moment. Horrible. Yeah, we also don't have any iframes. Like, if something hits you, you are hit and yeah, you have to deal with it. I jumped. Okay, got it. Finally. So, the power sword is hidden. Attic. Because, yeah, why not? Power sword. We now actually do take to that and let the continues run out because I want to go to the uh, to the different level for the cutscene. Oh boy, more cutscenes. Yes. Help. So amazing. Happen. Do we have time for a quick donation? Oh yeah, we do. We've got a 50 euro anonymous donation without comment. Thank you, anonymous. So right now I'm not going to jump because I will hit, well, somewhat the ceiling. We have to enter this room. There's a boss. Yeah, you can play out. Stab him. Wow. That's wow. <laughs> every enemy one hit in this game? Yes. In this game, actually, every enemy is one hit. And this is actually exactly why I needed the rope. Because we need this key uh, to get to the cutscene. The problem is that uh, normally we would finish Cicado first, and but then you already get the quest item that will be requested in this area, so you never get to see the cutscene otherwise. So what's the main difference between any percent and 100% or is it the same or...? There's a difference. Uh, any, percent, any percent actually uh, goes through a lot less levels, it skips things like... Uh, I believe they even skip the power sword. Um, you skip a lot of items and you don't get the final lantern upgrade. And the final lantern upgrade lets you see um, flying enemies in the final level. So they have to do everything blind, basically. So it is a really technical and impressive category, in my opinion. Just, I prefer to see things. Okay, Why so, the here we go. Oh my. Those darn Moblin have eaten everything! I give anything <laughs> for an Arbuckle steak! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... She wants an Arbuckle egg. Uh, Arbuckles are the pterodactyls that f are flying around, basically. And we exit the level, we unlock the next level. We're not doing it yet, we're going back to Cicado. 
I'm doing one more round to just get some rubies going. But it will be quicker now because we have the power sword. We can shoot everything. Is it the same mechanic as in the normal Zelda games where the, the, the shooting thing only works with full health? Yes, it is. Un unless you get the tempered sword, of course. Normally, there would be a, a extra spawning in front of the door that I just passed. This time it didn't, so... But because it actually gives five rubies, I will actually kill him still. And it happens when you're walking here, jump over, get rubies. And let's see if we just can get the final items that we want for the yeah, first bit of the run. So we want a set of bombs. I already bought two sets of rope. I will actually do a quick check how much uh, rubies we have. We have 51. Uh, I'll get three sets of ropes and two oil. I likely won't need two sets of oil. Uh, Basically, one oil purchase uh, gives you three oils, which lights the lantern. I likely won't need all of it, but I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry. And we have the rubies because I took the detour already. And because I died. Small note. Do we have time for another quick donation? Uh, give me a moment because we got a cutscene now. <laughs> Please do the donation. <laughs> if you do the donation, I will wait. <laughs> Beautiful eyes. I can do a quick donation now. I couldn't bring myself to interrupt that cutscene. That yeah. is one hundred percent worth it. Anyway, we've got a three year old donation from Rick saying, Hey there Grump, Rick here. Hope you had enough sleep to last between the link run earlier and good luck with the Zelda one. Show the world the glory of the CDI, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Uh, sadly, I did not get any sleep, so <laughs> if anything happens, I will blame it on sleep. Cutscene. Do you see anything? Yes. Oh my, your father has been captured. What about Link? He's been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. So oh <laughs> no. Oh no. I mean, <laughs> Impa is just generally in levels. She can be found at random spots and sometimes in a really far away spot that I actually had to route in because yeah it's a cutscene that you would otherwise miss and we can't have that. This run is gonna be unvalid because 100% basically means all cutscenes. Uh, we're going to do all cutscenes that's the True, point. Uh, I, I am I did work on routing that so now we're uh, uh, entering a well a tower and here we'll find the Arpagos egg so we're, we're being hunted uh, by the Paragos yeah, and mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, basically we're being hunted down by these because yeah, it's their nest basically. But ah, we only have the egg. So we fall all the way back down. We didn't take any hits, so that's actually really nice. I, that, this means that I can take uh, an intentional death later on. That one I've been trying lately uh, to force the hatchet to be thrown above Zelda instead of hitting me. And it's working out so far, so I'm ha really happy about that. Okay, so we have a wall here. It's one of the few instances where we need a bomb. And we'll just walk through the graveyard. Chilling, getting keys. Uh, since I'm full health anyway, I'll just walk back. Will likely take longer. Um, so be a bit quicker to not uh, to just take a death and warp to the entrance. But yeah, may as well. Okay, cutscene. Oh boy. For the dead shall rise, and the living shall be their slaves. She must be stopped. You must die. So this this is Gibdo. <laughs> He actually scared me, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we use a rope, we climb all the way to the top. Uh, actually, 
try to kill these. Oh, I'm so close to dying here. Uh, Gento is luckily on the other side of the room. We grab the shroud because, yeah. <laughs> the shroud! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> so powerful! <laughs> the shroud is cold. Okay. Fine, it's cold. Give those that. We go to Washubi Swamp. This is generally uh, a main source of time loss, and I'll show you why. Because we have to basically ride on the back of crocodiles. And they are a bit annoying in the se sense that. Oh, here we have to wait anyway. Let's kill that Argos. Uh, here's the crocodile. Stand on the back. Now I have to do a really, really tight jump to get to the end of uh, the section. And I jump too late. It's a really, really tight jump. I've been doing fine during practice with it, but maybe sleep is getting to me because the last few jumps didn't go that well. So, we'll try again. Mind us, we're enjoying go. Yeah, 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 enjoy. And I got it. Nice. That is actually really tight. And honestly, I'm not sure how you should do it normally. Like, this may be the intended way. So, we got another really tight jump here. I jumped a bit earlier, though. You have to jump from crocodile to crocodile, back to the original crocodile. Uh, it's horrible. I got it. Good. Uh, we need one more jump. This one isn't as tight. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're safe now and we'll finish the level. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't need any uh, level reset for this. And we get the cutscene. Oh my. Because why not? Don't scare me again. Oh yeah, you will be scared. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I thought Mike Puny to go what? up against Ganon. I'll do all right. That's the spirit. Bring some Han you spore if you want a bit more punch. I love how Zelda's just turned like, oh, what am I? Oh, what, what is this guy? <laughs> why? Really enjoying these cutscenes over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad. We've got two donations if you got some time. Ah, uh, yeah, go for it. We've got an anonymous donation, a five-year-old anonymous donation, saying, this is an anonymous donation with a no comment. Please clap. <laughs> oh, <he's not. laughs> Legends. And we've got another five-year-old donation from Kazuhira84, saying, my boy, these streams is what all true warriors strive for. Put the money on Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. It's a really good pick. I agree. It's a great pick. And thank you for the donations. And I hope you guys will be enjoying this run. So basically, these walking helmets are incredibly bad. Uh, they... In this area, they actually chase you. You do get a little damage boost from them and get boosted a bit forward. But you can get basically stuck in them and they'll destroy you. Because they knock themselves uh, back a little bit, you back a little bit, and then they keep hitting you. It's still fine, I mean, it's easier to just walk straight like this. I also see that you're getting like a small speed boost when you get yeah. hit. It's completely useless aside from being a small speed boost. There is a cutscene there. We're not doing it because it's a shortened cutscene of the cutscene we'll see later. Like, they just literally cut off the cutscene. Ah, cutscene. Nice. We have rules and a fountain of life. Oh, that was good. We <laughs> had many emails. Let's bring <laughs> the darkness down. No, Please tends. do notice the colors. There's suddenly a blue one there. I'm not glue I'm not colorblind, but that seems weird. Okay, I killed her before she actually could fire uh, projectiles. The projectiles are insta-kill. Nice. 
always good to have an insta kill. Yes, it is. I'm just hitting her from the other screen, waiting out these projectiles, and I should climb up here and kill. I also don't get why the screen is. Oh, there you go. Uh, and we're getting another cutscene because we freed the fairies. We're free. You saved us. <laughs> That's Here's so some creepy. <laughs> and some fairy dust. Have some, some water of life. So we get a lot. And technically, this is a new cutscene, so I'm doing it once more. Have some water of life. Like we didn't, <laughs> we didn't have the fairy dust in hand. <laughs> So, for completion's sake, we're doing it. Uh, you didn't understand something, Nandi. Why is the, the screen black during boss fights? Because they brought the darkness down. You should have used the lamp to uh, show the area. It's actually a gimmick of this boss. So yeah, enjoy this uh, soundtrack. It's pretty nice. And here we have a Sora that's actually spitting stones at us. Not like that. And we'll drop down. Ah, I got hit. That's a shame. Uh, twice. That's not nice. There. We have to jump between crocodiles again and then enter the ship. It looked like a tiny ship from here, but yeah, it's bigger than that. We'll just jump. And. This here is an entrance. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Don't question the logic. Accept the entrance. So we climb up, and then since it's a ghost ship, and yeah, there's ghosts. Just have to kill them. Then swap to the ropes. Make sure that I have vision of the area. Jump up again. And we get an Apargos feather. Like, we couldn't get that at the previous mess or something, but because I have three life hearts, I am just going to uh, jump down. You will fall on that small, really small ledge, so you don't, don't fall to your death there. So we'll continue on. With the key that we got, we open this door and we grab the reflective shield. This is also why I like Face of Evil a bit more, because they are actually quests. They don't have items just laying around. You actually have to put effort... Well, effort. Effort to it. <laughs> okay, back to Washubi Swamp, because now we have all kinds of items that we can turn in. So, let's hope the crocodile jumping goes fine. I have to find this OST on SoundCloud. I'm not sure if it's on SoundCloud, but... Uh, I did manage to find the OST somewhere and I got all of it. Um, while the sounds are nice, it's not as great as you might think because these sound bits are basically like one minute and then cut up uh, abruptly. I oh, got it, great. And because they don't expect you to be in uh, every scene for too long. So the sounds are really short and they just didn't finish the the music. Okay, great. This is basically how it should... I'm not, no, I'm not saying anything yet. This is basically how it should go. <laughs> <laughs> so just ignore my first run through this area. This is much better. And we get a cutscene. Yes. Give me your glove. Hey! <laughs> Don't worry. Here. A power glove. Great. Power glove? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why someone would just steal a glove. That she wasn't wearing fur at first anyway. And just burn it. But, you know. okay. Happens. So, back to Hanyu first, because we needed the Aparagos further for the woman that was on the bottom of the last screen. We're going there now. Also a small question, when's yep. Hotel Mario? 
Oh god. Uh, I have it with me. Uh, Bonus game. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> that <laughs> is actually a really difficult game. A really, really difficult. I, I can get to Hotel 6 out of 7. And then it just... Yeah. It took me like two hours to get through one level. Anyway. Continuing on with this. Just damage boosting through. We only have one heart left. That is great because we want to die. Greetings, see. Princess Zelda. Do you have any Arpagos feathers? <laughs> Good! Then let us make a cape from your shroud! Here, I must be off! That is not a cape. Wow. They just put it on the shoulders and... No! <laughs> it's a cape! <laughs> yes, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> then why did she need the feather? Uh, well, well, yeah. Decoration. <laughs> okay, and you first is done. We're going all the way back to Kobitan. Because we... If you remember correctly, we have the uh, Arpagos egg as well. So that woman was starving. May as well give her some uh, food. So where's the cake now? Because she's not wearing it. Uh, it's in the inventory. It's, uh, she didn't think it was fashionable enough, so... You have to be a bit careful with jumping out some places, because otherwise you go to the upper part of the arena and you don't want that. Anyway. Oh, God. This will make a great omelet. Here. Thanks. <laughs> 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 and the omelet was so great, she just disappears. I'm hungry. Take this fluid. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so, Abitaru. <laughs> I'm taking this area a bit safe uh, simply because I want to. I actually want to keep the power. Ah, uh, that's a oh. shame. I wanted to keep the power sword. Uh, it's mostly because in the next area there's uh, an uh, goma, and gomas may not what be what you think they may be. I was actually directly thinking about that boss fight from Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, this is the real goma. <laughs> Just a grab. I just used the power glove then. Normally, I would have the po uh, I would use the power sword and stand in the entrance. The Goma does not know where to go, and uh, you can just kill it with the power sword and get an easy ten rubies. More Goma as well. Uh, and this is the Goma pit. And we jumped it. Okay, so that looks like a cutscene. Yes, it is. Oh God! <laughs> nice jump over the Goma pit. Here, have a drink. Thanks. Hey, there's a fisherman trapped in the fish head. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, first of all, why would you trust her? Because she looked really su suspicious when she gave you the water. Yeah. Second, why is there someone stuck in a fish head of a skeleton? Why? That does not make sense. Especially now, it does not make sense. <laughs> why is he stuck? Thanks, you <laughs> saved me. <laughs> The last time I'm going fishing. See you in Sakado. I am also pretty sure this is made by an intern because this was not a great quality. These cutscenes are a true piece of art. Oh, they are. <laughs> okay, so now we're at Shuto Lake. Uh, normally we don't go here in the 100% route, but I want to try to make this work. Uh, so I've been practicing this a bit. Uh, normally we go here when we are already uh, at six hearts because there will be a lot of falling down, uh, falling rocks later on. And it's a bit easier. But we'll do it with four hearts instead. That's been working out out all day, so fingers crossed. Just kill whatever comes in our way. And we got a cutscene. Yay. Oh, there's Grandma again. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Wizrobe has captured Lady Alma. I'm not afraid of you. Ha! Then wait here until you are. So, yeah. That's is, that Gaman is that Ganondorf's wife? That's Wizrobe. 
not any waist rope, the waist rope. Oh. Yeah. I, I am going to select the flute here. It's just a way to make this area a little bit easier and less damagey because normally there are spare fish flying out of the water hitting you, but they qualify as a flying enemy and the flute stops flying enemies. So, we'll just stop it. Okay, we're actually at the, the ascent to the tower and here is a lot of falling rocks. And the jumps are also really tight. And I am not having a good time with them. Hit. Shame. Come on. And there we go. Okay, we're safe from the rocks now. Grab a rope, jump up, and we're in a dark room again. Yeah. Two jumps, and there's the door. If I don't do the f these jumps, uh, and you don't really have an indi indication where the door is, and there's actually a pit there, and you die. Nice. So this is a, a timed room. This makes the game a lot more advanced than the face of evil. And this was rope. That was this rope. <laughs> <laughs> Not the disintegration spell! Uh, he's dead. Wow. Okay then. He, she kind of killed herself. Yeah. It's because we have the reflective shield uh, that I picked up earlier. Uh, we can use a bomb here. And um, save Lady Elma. Told me about you. You know Link? Sure. He gave me his canteen for a kiss. You kissed him? Here, it's empty anyway. If you watched, fa if you watched the face of evil, this is Zelda's own fault. Zelda did not want to give a kiss for good luck, and Zelda did not want to kiss him, uh, Link, after saving her, uh, saving Zelda. So now Link's thirsty. We go to Zagado because we unlocked a few cutscenes here, and because we want to show all cutscenes and not half cutscenes, we actually have to do them. We get some rubies while we're at it. Is all cutscenes a category on speedrunner.com? No, it's not. You guys have to make them more. Uh, it should be a thing, I think. Yeah, I agree. Do we have time for a quick donation? Uh, in a moment. All right. After this cutscene. There. Now you can sneak up and give a monster a good shot before he sees you. More caves. Yes. This one makes you invisible. Uh, do, please uh, do the donation now. There's a 15 euro anonymous donation uh, with no comment, but we appreciate it anyway. <laughs> I would also like to point out that the 100% incentive for Kirby and the Amazing Mirror co-op Still has about 11 euros and 50 cents to go to be met. So let's get those donations in. Let's make that happen. And to motivate you guys. Look, I got a new job. Hey, bring a heat crystal. I'll fix up your sword. So the fisherman is now a blacksmith. Wow. And I mean, if you, if you notice, his house already had the blacksmith icon and we got the key to his house. So maybe the fisherman was a blacksmith all along. Why does the fisherman have a, a woman voice? Eh, yeah. CDI. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're finally going to the Gogi Tower and these, this is the area where most people know cutscenes from. So really enjoy. Hey, the old lady is back. Yes, hey. and she has a wonderful cutscene. It looks like everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. This is illegal, you know. My <laughs> cakes will burn. <laughs> so, so the, this is illegal, you know, is a well-known yeah, cutscene. So, yeah. This is illegal. My cakes will burn. That's the... <laughs> 
Uh, they're, they're two different people, like, and they have different priorities. I just can. Oh, I didn't want not to throw the bomb there, but uh, may as well deal with it. And I died. Amazing. Okay. Is emulator allowed for this game for this leaderboard? Uh, technically no, but the emulator is really, really bad. Like, really bad. I guess I have to get my hands on this game. A team. Hey. Come on, hurry! It's awful! Mayor Cravendish has been chained in the tower! Oh my cakes! Come see me in Sakado! <laughs> Priorities. We got this key, and I'll take an intentional death here. And I'm going to hope for the best that I'm actually able to finish this in online. I'm not going to use a lamp here, I'm going to do this blind. Stand slightly below this hand. Ah, we got hit. Don't want that. Okay, we jump over. Should be a ladder there. Use a rope to get up. Go this one. There's another ladder here. Move a bit to the side. Jump, jump. Make sure that we get this ledge available to us. And that. Up here. And we made it. Nice. You dare defy me? You will die. You must Guess again, die. Iron Knuckle. Okay, so Zelda is a complete psychopath in this uh, game, so as you will see, uh, I still had the power glove. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He's dead. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> This game is something else. <laughs> yeah. I've got another donation, if you don't mind. Uh, let's do it after these cutscenes. Oh, for sure. Okay, I made this jump. Oh, the indignity. Please, your highness, would you kindly cut the chains that bind me? Okay, uh, so he, he has a nose itch. This is an annoying hitbox, but I got it. Ouch! <laughs> Thank you, princess. I managed to conceal this magic lantern. I hope it can be of use. He also sounds a lot like Mr. Burns from uh, yeah, Simpsons. Yeah, now that you say so, wow. I mean, we have a Barney in Face of Evil and we have Mr. Burns in uh, Wall of Gamelon. Uh, you can do a uh, donation now. All right, sure thing. We got another five euro donation from C4 saying, I just want to say sorry for donating towards the incentive for cutscenes, which I don't know why you would be sorry for that, because this is amazing. Please clap to rate the cutscenes for awesomeness. I clapped thrice. It's that bad, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad everyone is enjoying the cutscenes. I am as well. And you have to rem remember that I've been watching these over and over and over again to practice this. I still really enjoy them. Wait, you can't skip these cutscenes? You can. Oh, you can. Wow. I won't. <laughs> Why would you ever want to skip these cutscenes? Yeah, it's like it's not a pure speedrun without it, man. When you actually do a 100%, yes, of course. But, uh, okay, we climb all the way up. Kill this hat. Uh, these are dragon hats. Uh, they are of the dragon Gleok, which was mentioned in the first cutscene. This is also why I actually use light here. This is a really tight jump. And I don't want to do that blind. And here's Cleok. That was Cleok. What? Sadly, he does not have a cutscene. But we got the heat crystal. So guess where are we going? I'm going to the practice room. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do a quick rupee count. Uh, we're actually pretty okay on them, so... We're getting a few lost items. I just want, for safety's sake, a few more ropes. Uh, it should be fine. 
And because I actually messed up one bomb, I'll... In uh, general, when comparing it to Two Face of Evil, this run is really uh, low on bombs. Normally, you only need three bombs, but in Face of Evil, you need about, if I'm correct, 14. So it's 14. Okay. So your friend Link could eat 10 of these. <laughs> At least. Ha! The Arpagos <laughs> will die for them. So basically, we got the validation bread. Um, we <laughs> don't use it ever. Uh, once you use it, it is gone. You have to get a new one at uh, the baker. Uh, the only thing it does is that it uh, lures out uh, the Arpagos, so the pterodactyls, and bunches them up, so it's easier to progress through some areas. But we don't really need that anymore. Now we just walk on. And visit our good friends, oh, no. the blacksmith. Oh my. No. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. That ought to do it. <laughs> That's <pretty> good. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> we now have a tempered sword. And he can just smash a heat crystal into a sword. Do it like that. Now we don't have the life restriction anymore, we can just keep firing. We just keep running into this uh, guy and die as quickly as possible and then leave this level. And continue to Dodomai Palace. Dodomai Palace is one of those uh, areas where there's a cutscene that's really out of the way. And I'm going there. But it is... A bit problematic, so I'm going to do my best with it. So, we have no, Impa. No. Yes, Impa. No. Look how your father was captured. You are my prisoner. Hey! Silence! <laughs> Victor, keep the runt in chains. Yes, master. <laughs> what was that cutscene? <laughs> you are my slave. Yes. No, hey. Hey! <laughs> Silence! <laughs> For some reason, this bomb doesn't connect all the time. It's annoying. It was close enough at least, so that helps. We have to wait for the crocodile. We stand on the crocodile. And we enter the new area. Well, on the back of the, of the crocodile. We crouch here to avoid the hit, and then start jumping. And we keep jumping until we're at the gate. This next screen will lag incredibly much. Like, the game is already a bit laggy as this, but this is... I'm not is, even noticing it. Uh, it's, it's actually lagging quite a bit because there's so much ha happening. Uh, the closest uh, guard had the, the key in this case. This is normally a dark room. Normally you would enter the first door because, yeah, you want to see what's going on. The first door already leads to the boss, but you will miss out on a cutscene. Please, please go into the boss. No. We, ha we have to know how dangerous Hecton is. Heck. Hecton. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this is... Um, going for it. Actually. It's going to be risky. I'm likely going to die, but... Just killing things on the way. And we're using the lantern. Ah. These are really difficult to avoid. Just as I say that, I avoid yeah. one. I never <laughs> avoid that one. I deemed it impossible. Okay, then that hit doesn't matter that much. I avoided another one. What's, what is this? Irish right, unlock. So yeah. Okay. And. Here's Impa. 
Oh. Again. What is she doing oh, here? Heck, Tan is dangerous. Ready? Am I here? Or here? Or here? <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> This is why I wanted to include this in the route. You it's, scary five me. It's amazing. Now we have to walk back. This is why it j never really happens. You don't get to this area. There is no reason for Impa to be inside Dodomite Palace for some reason. It does not make any kind of sense. And we are in front of the door. That's good. Let's start spamming. Oh, okay. uh, use some lantern. Just to make this a bit easier. And I'm going to do my best to manage this with the two hearts that I have left. Because there's water dropping from the ceiling. Oh no. Uh, no, Zelda does not want her hair to get wet. The cape. Yeah, just put on the cape or... Actually, or you can. But I'm not going to. I'm going to go up here. I made it. Great. And here's Hackton in this area. And this is a bit of an annoying area. What's this? Uh, he looks okay. like a buff. Okay, we he block like his head. Yes. Just one head. Enjoy. You've killed me! Good! <laughs> <laughs> Complete psychopath! What? <laughs> so, here's uh, the count. Duke Onclid betrayed the king! I know! Strike the head of the portrait to enter Onclid's chamber! Thanks! What? <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> thanks. We got the key. Um, we have a complete health refill. At the moment, we have full uh, life. Um, you can only get six, six life hearts and complete run, so we're done with that. We do we're done with the sword. And um, we're almost done with the items. We just need the Wand of Camelon and the last... Um, ah. and the last uh, Lantern Upgrade. And just jump down here, and we're going to do the whole ascent while avoiding water. Oh, I it's time to jump. jump. Go here. Oh, wait, the water drops. I generally don't want to take too much damage here, even though, uh, you know what, at the moment it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, take it here again. That one, I just can't avoid because uh, you apparently can avoid them with jumping, but that one, you jump against the ceiling, you slow down too much and you get hit. So you have to hit the uh, painting. And here's the juke. Don't hurt me, Zelda. I'll tell you the secret way into Resong Palace. You better talk fast. Go all the way left and move the rock. This key opens the gate. I'll make sure he doesn't get away. You better. And now we get a small key. And we're going to the area, Nokani Forest, where we can get the last lantern upgrade. Let me know when you've got some time for a donation. Uh, go for it. Okay, we've got an 11 euro donation from C4 again. Okay, this has been the best incentive so far. Thank you all, big hands for the staff and the runner. I'm glad you are enjoying it, C4. <laughs> I am as well. And I am enjoying the fact that others have to suffer it. These cutscenes are actually like a, a work of art. Thank you they for showing are. me something uh, wonderful that I've missed <laughs> in my life. <laughs> You're welcome. That was my whole goal of learning these games. Jump up here, just try to kill. I have a lot of floating ice here. And jump up here. The king is a traitor or what? How, how's the story in this game? No, the, uh, the duke is, an, is a traitor. 
The king has been taken capture uh, has been taken captive by uh, Ganon. And now we're going to save the king and Link. Because okay. Link was taken captive as well somewhere. Or he just did, stopped responding. So yeah, maybe bad cell reception or something. So use the lantern again, because I don't want to deal with this dark room. Climb up. Climb up even further. A bit more. Oh, hey, hey, I know you. This light will penetrate the dark around Ganon, but only the wand can defeat him. Good luck! Don't ask me what she's doing there. I don't know. So, we can either take a death or just exit the level. We don't unlock anything with it, so... We can just uh, die and get over it. I like how you just stab them to start the cutscene. Yeah, there, it's a magic sword. So you stab everyone, you... Uh, oh my... No. This, she is back! Yes. And I was a bit late on the jump, and this is actually painful. Oh dear, Omfak is guarding the shrine. Whatever I see, I shall devour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have two hearts left. I am just going to try it, but I bypassed this one. This is actually great, and we can go to the next area. Normally you would die at that uh, flaming wheel and you'd have to redo it. Because there's a really tight uh, pattern that you can jump through. Oh. Ah. That was really scary. And these are also scary. Snipe. Wow. Yeah. At least in the face of evil you can beat these things by throwing a uh, or using the flute, but or the bell in case of uh, face of evil. But in this uh, game, you can't deal with them. So it's a really tight jump, even with the shroud. This, uh, well, I think, the only occasion we use the shroud uh, is basically a longer jump. Okay, so here's Omfak. <laughs> Got him! I absolutely love the smirk of Sal. <laughs> She's a complete psychopath. Like yeah. She's enjoying killing people right now. <laughs> and we're now entering the final level. So basically, if you don't have the final lantern upgrade, you don't see these bats. Which is really annoying. But uh, during this, uh, people who run any percent, they have uh, a pattern going. And it's really awesome to watch. But if you don't know what's going on, you're like, what is even happening? But because, yeah, I play the game and I see what's going on and I see how difficult this is, it's really impressive. I'm just using the flute, I don't want to deal with them. As you can see, like there's currently seven bats flying around everywhere. And here's Impa. Yeah, uh, just that uh, thought. <laughs> it's too dark to see Ganon, but the Triforce says you can only win by falling. I wonder what that means. It means that you have to buy the real Triforce instead of that weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would definitely help. Stupid Triforce wisdom. It's basically a pyramid. Yeah, it's not even that wise, or honestly. Very small. Okay, let's. Ah, I don't want to get hit so much. Moment. Ah, this is scary. Yep. Bypass most of it. We grab the power glove, hit the rock, and enter. That is sure you for giving her the power glove. Yeah, that's why he likes these games. Just kill these. Got 10 rubies in total. Which is awesome. 
into the next room. I want light here, I want the flute here, and I want a rope here. Because we have floating faces. We use the flute, and because I still have bombs, the rope is conveniently placed next to the uh, flute. We're actually going to kill this. And before the weird floating fish comes uh, at me, we're actually stopping him from moving again. If he hits me, um, he will extinguish the uh, flame lantern. I'm going to use the lantern again, because I want to see where I'm going. The lantern currently doesn't use any uh, oil anymore, because it's the final upgrade, it uses magic. Um, you have to pay for magic. This game. You have to pay for everything. I mean, we're being ripped off here. Kill everything, I don't want to lose too much health here. And we have to, uh, we can only win by falling, so let's fall. I fall even more. Jump, jump, jump. Climb up. That doesn't look like fall. I it looks more was a like bit too failing. slow. Yes. I was a bit too slow there. If you do it correctly, you will only get one or maybe no hits. I would have survived it in this case, but okay, we'll deal with it. I do want to survive this area uh, in this case. This area lags. Like, not a little bit, as incredibly much. Because there's too much falling from the ceiling and the game does not like this. If you're in a good stage, you will death warp here. I just want to do it safe, so it's a marathon run. And I'll walk back to the entrance. And we just click on the key, and that key unlocks Ganon's uh, room. Come down here, over here, and this grate is an exit. Wait a moment, because everything will fall at the same time once you, once you enter uh, or leave that grate. So we enter this room again. We have to kill the spider again. We have to kill the wolves again. Come on. There we go. Let them throw their boomerangs. Shoot. Running back to, to the corner where we came from. Use the rope because we are so close to the face, he can't attack us or he doesn't know how to attack us. Use the flute again. Just to not have to deal with any flying enemies. It's just safety measure. Makes it easier. We're here again and we'll now move towards Ganon's room. So we are almost done with this torment. Kill everything on the way. Make sure that nothing gets in the way. Okay, I'm selecting the Wand of Gamelon already. Because I want to try something with the two health that I have. But enjoy. Enjoy. You dare bring light to my lair? You must die! There it is! <laughs> <laughs> there it is! He does not like light at all. Uh, here, over here, here. Climbing up. Jump. Kill. Wow. <sighs> the chains! No! You have to see the last of me! This is another proof that this game is a sequel to Face of Evil, even though they were released on the same day, because Ganon got locked up in the Book of Korodai, that you locked uh, Ganon up in Face of Evil. So, yeah, there's actually lore here. It should, get, should be in the timeline. It is yes. official. <laughs> yes. 
Nintendo's name is on it. And this is time. Father! You saved me! Here's the traitor, your majesty. Please, your omnipotence, have mercy. After you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, then we can talk about mercy. Take him away. Yes, my liege. I wonder what happened to Link. Oh, he was a four anyway. Stop looking at yourself. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, Link. We were just about to have a feast. Sorry. Great. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, I think, I, I think this is the perfect way to close meme block, meme day. I hope you will enjoy the rest of the runs. I want to thank uh, BSG for having me, Nandi and Fimito uh, on the couch. Everyone for watching, uh, for donating to make this happen. My lovely wife for actually dealing with this day in, day out, because I'm practicing practically next to her. She has seen and heard these cutscenes way too often. <laughs> and she's still with me, so. I feel so bad for her now. <laughs> so, thanks. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you so much, Grimmeister, for showing us that masterpiece of a game. The cutscenes are something else, man. They really are. So, uh, this will be the end of my host shift, although I do uh, want to announce that the next run will be Kirby's Dreamland. Ran by Yume? I think so. After that, there's gonna be Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Uh, we still have about 12 euros to go to meet uh, the category change incentive. To change the category from any percent to 100%. So if you wanna see that, you have about... How much time left? Just, just get your donations in if you wanna see it happen. 